Spending hours logging in and out of your email accounts and sites like Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter every day wastes precious time, your time. Motorola felt the same way, so they came up with a way to sync Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace together with your texts, personal and work emails, and feeds, and built them right into your phone. It all happens on Motoblur. Set it up once and Motoblur remembers usernames and passwords. No more logins, no apps to open, everything's already there. Motoblur reaches out to my favorite sites, repeatedly gathers the most recent info, and puts it all on these widgets right on my home screen. It delivers my messages from Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace, together with my texts and emails, on the Messages widget. Motoblur also gathers everybody's tweets, moods, status updates, wall posts, links, and pictures, and puts them all together on this widget called Happenings. You can add dozens of different widgets, apps, and RSS feeds to your home screen and customize them any way you want. Set them up to grab your sports scores, weather, news, Hollywood gossip, whatever you're into. There's also a whole drawer for your favorite apps from the Android market. I can change my status in a snap and post it on all my favorite sites at once, just like that. So, stick around and try it out. The Happenings widget is where you see what's going on with everyone, without having to ask. Because with Motoblur, your phone can pull your friends' pics, posts, and updates from Facebook, Twitter, and MySpace, and put them all in one place for you to read. Or not. Here's one from Kate. Uh, two from Kate. Uh, you know, Kate seems to be having a bit of a status attack. You can also tap open the apps drawer and click on the Happenings app anytime you want to see a listed view. And if you click the All Services button, it organizes your happenings by, you guessed it, services. Motoblur. Friend feeds, status updates, wall posts, tweets, and photo uploads all in one place. I remember when my contacts list was just names and phone numbers. Now I have pictures, addresses, websites, blogs. My brain does not have room for all this stuff. Motoblur keeps track of it for me, so I see more together. It has my friend's personal and work info, their status updates, profile pics, and what mood they're in. Because it reaches out to my Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter pages and gets that stuff for me. All the time, always up to date. I have three ways to see everybody. The Contacts tab lets me see my friends with their most recent profile pics. And when I click the Status button, I can see everyone's updates from Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace. The History tab lets me look back at all my friends' communications. So if my brother says, dude, we never made that bet, I can say, oh, contraire, Mr. Pang for dinner. And the Happenings tab shows everything my friends have been up to on their social sites. Want to find that side-splitting link that someone posted two weeks ago? It's still here in all its glory. If there are people that you stay in contact with more often, like, I don't know, the pizza place across the street, you can create contact groups to find them more easily. My ex-girlfriend, not in any of my groups. I can take calls or send them to voicemail. Seeing everyone's latest profile pic and status update comes in handy. Yeah, I'm going to send that one to voicemail. And if I click on a contact's address, I can see where it's located on Google Maps. Motoblur. Updates your friend's most recent info so you can keep the conversation flowing. The only drag about getting so many messages is having to find them first. Go to this site, go to that site, log in, log out. The messages widget lets me keep in touch with my friends without sacrificing my time. Motoblur pulls all my messages together in one place. My texts and emails and my messages from Twitter, Facebook and MySpace all playing nice on this little widget. So I can focus on what people have to say instead of how they send it. I loop through my new messages and see which ones I want to respond to, or not. If I do respond, I can change fonts, colors, and icons, and attach photos. In my inbox, I can catch up on entire conversations I've had with my friends, no matter how we wrote to each other. Yes, yes I do. Motoblur. Start your conversations with hi, instead of username and password. Say I lose my phone. Well first I can use my phone's GPS to find it. So if it's in my building, I can tear through the couch cushions instead of tearing my hair out. But if I see it's already a hundred miles away in a town I've never heard of, I can protect everything on it with remote wipe. 
See, Moto Blur gives me the power to erase all the information on the phone, no matter where it is. So no one can access anything on it. Not my friend's info, not their numbers, not my emails, nothing. But Wipe doesn't destroy the data. Moto Blur has it stashed away for safekeeping. The minute I get another phone, I enter my password and pow. My friends, my feeds, and my emails come right back up. They're all where I left them. Moto Blur lets you relax. Set it up once and it's there for you forever. Moto Blur. Remote locate, wipe, and restore your information for worry-free communication. I want the web to look like the web. That's why my phone has a true web browser. Nothing less will do. I can find whatever I want with a full browser and Google search. And I can go where I want to go with GPS and eCompass. See? Men ask for directions. We just prefer to ask our phones. If I click on any address in my contacts, that launches Google Maps with door-to-door -door directions. Moto Blur can take info from Google Calendar and my work calendar and put it all together in one view. That way, I don't double schedule client lunch dates, save the dates, and even date dates. There are thousands of widgets, apps, and games at the Android market for fun on the go. Or fun when you're going absolutely nowhere, like in line at the post office. I can watch YouTube videos or listen to music by artist, album, and song, and create my own playlists. I can even see my friends' favorite tunes in their last FM love tracks that show up on my happenings widget. It's like streaming my music and my friends at the same time. Moto Blur. Apps, maps, tunes, and the way the web is supposed to look.